welcome back. So today we're doing the coding portion of Home Assistant, putting our images, our entities into play. So we are able to turn on off lights and visually represent it on our dashboard. Let's crack into it. Okay, so for the first part, if you haven't got any entities added, we're going to add some entities or some dummies so we can toggle on and off. In my scenario, I haven't got any smart switches in yet as the house is still getting built. So we're going to put in some dumb switches by going to settings, helpers, and create a dumb switch, which is just toggling a state on and off. To do this, we're going to go create helper, scroll down to toggle and give it a name. For example, outside porch. And for the icons, I've been using a battery icon and this is purely for coverage as it is square and yeah, you'll see in the, in the next couple steps why. Alright, step two. What we need to do is add all of our photos into Home Assistant. So what we can do is by going to add-ons, you can download, install our Studio Code server. There's a previous video in the description how to do it. We're going to navigate down to www, create a folder with a name for your home. And we are adding all our PNG files that we edited in the previous, in the previous video. Not sure why it's not loading, but I use an external application. So I can just um, visually see what they are as well. So you need to add your base photos as such and all your photos you've used GIMP to manipulate the light source as you can see here. And then finally you need to make sure we're adding the transparent PNG. Let's create the dashboard. So what we want to do is go home to our Lovelace, click on the three dots, add a dashboard and click on the add view. Let's give it a title and let's give the view type panel one card and click on save. Next what we do is click on add card. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom and let's make it manual as we'll be doing a YAML configuration. Alright, so let's define the type of this card, which is picture elements. Let's press enter and specify our image. The image we're specifying is our base image. It is the full picture of our house. So in this scenario, it will be this one. This is the image as the base image. The path will be local. The local is substituting the www folder. Forward slash the folder we created. Load by the extension. If you are unsure, you can go to our add-ons to our studio code server and confirm the path. 
So www, which is your local, followed by the four dollar creative, which is to run both capital T in my instance, followed by base underscore lower capitals dot png. These are case sensitive, so another way you can do it is I can right click rename, control A, control C, so we're copying all of it. Going back here and pressing paste. Let's define the elements. Let's press enter and press tab. This is a YAML configuration, so the tabs are important. So we'll go um, hyphen space type. And the type will be image. Enter tab, the entity. And this is where we can start defining what the switch is going to do within the image. So in this scenario, I'm going to be using one of my helpers I created to represent a light switch. And this is the entity. And I'll paste it into here. Press enter. We need to define the style. Enter tab. Left is 50%. The top is 50% and the width is 100%. We are going one space backwards now to define the state image. And pressing enter, tab. So there will be two states we're defining. There'll be the on state and the off state. So when we are toggling it on, what do we want to see? When we are to toggling it from on to off, what do we want to see? So since we're using the import dining switch entity, when we click from off to on, we're going to want to see this image over here, which is the dining overlay. So we can copy this path. And what we're going to do is change it to dining PNG. Next, the off state. The off state is when we click it from on to off, we no longer want to see the light overlay. We want to return it back to the base light configuration. That's saying we can't be showing the base light configuration as it's already shown by default. This is where the transparent PNG will come to play. And this is the image I'm talking about. This is the image, which is no image. We're just putting a dummy image in place. And let's click save. If your coding is correct, this is what you will be seeing. And anyway, click currently, it's going to bring up a switch for you. If you click on off, it's going to remove it back to the base image. And if you click on from off to on, it's going to overlay it. Let's define the switch itself next. How do we want to 
represent the switch. There's multiple ways of doing it. Some people will show a globe. Some people will not have them all up here. But this is how you do it. Let's go to settings. Let's click enter and go all the way to the start. Let's click on tab, hyphen, type, the type of um, entity we want to represent. It's going to be a state icon, state uh, tech icon. Enter, tab, entity, the entity will be the dining switch, the tap action, line tab action toggle so here we're saying the type of card we want to show is a state icon what do we want to do with this state icon we're using the import from the dining switch and what are the actions the actions are toggling it so you can go from off to on and from on to off. Let's change the style. Enter, and we're going one tab to the left. Let's define the style. Enter tab. So the style is, let's do the placement first, which will be left. And this is in percentages relevant to um, left and top so if we go 50 to start off with we can see this server is going to show up for now let's make it 10 and the next one will be top so as you've probably guessed that this will show the other way going horizontally uh, vertically so if I change it to 10 it's going to bring them further up if I bring it to 0 5 pretty much right on the border I'm going to be adding a rotate 0 degrees if I change it to 90 it'll be on the side if it's zero it's default next we'll define is opacity which is how much do we want to see one is solid 0 0.5 is 50 percent let's make it one for now next line I'm defining the size of it. MDC tag icon size. Let's go 20. Let's go 5. Uh, and it's in PX represent pixels. for now and next if you like we can define the colors as well by going
So you can do green, red, what else? Icon color, right? And click on save. So we've got a icon up the top, which will toggle our dining. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add one more image and one more um, state icon. So we've got a bit more to play with. Let's copy all of this and it will always go underneath the next image. And what we're going to do is do the family switch. We need to change the on variable to the correct photo, which is the family one if you've got the names, naming conventions. And what we want to do is show the icon. And let's define the family switch. I'm going to change this to 20. And let's click save. So now we've got two buttons mapping to two different photos, our overlays. If we click it on it's gonna overlay photo and this is how you can represent it or different ways of having different icons but in my instance I want to show no icons and when I click a specific area like it is in this home here it's going to change the state all right so if you want to do it that I've done it without seeing any icons what we're going to do is press F12 on our keyboard and it's going to open up developer tools Let's make this portion a bit smaller. And what we're going to do is click on the first icon, which will let our mouse find the element we're editing. So as you can see, it's highlighted the whole image. But when we find our icon, It's going to find it in the script and we are going to navigate down to where we can see the same configuration that we've got in our YAML file. So here, if we click the first variable and hold up we can see it's moving around we're going to be using this function to move around our icon into the spot where we want to click what do I mean by that so this is the dining room I want to put this into somewhere where the dining table is so I'm going to click on the dining dining table or dining table area it's going to turn on so I'm going to play around with these and next this is why I've added a degree, the degree so I can 
rotate it and I can change the size. So this is by far not the easiest way to do it. Probably not the cleanest way to do it, but I haven't figured out any other way to make it clean and what I mean by clean is on the resting state not have icons showing at least not for lights currently I will probably be adding icons or a menu but it will represent other features so next what we'll do is once you have in a place where you're happy, we are going to copy the text, control C, click on edit, and we'll be replacing the dining switch from white all the way to left, like so and press control V. Next we're just going to amend the tabbings. And click on save. Let's click on done and let's make it F12 again. what's happened here okay so we need to get rid of oops these save okay so we can see we've got an icon But what we're going to do is not see the icon next. This can be done by changing this value from a 1 to a 0 and click save. So you want to click on table. It's going to turn it on. But when I click somewhere else, unfortunately it shows a different switch. If I go to my configuration and go edit, so if I go to my configuration, click on edit, scroll down. And if I enable some of my icons to one, you can see how I've done it. They are large icons covering large areas. However, they did not overlap. They overlap here only because of the image size so that's why and what I found is the bigger the image in the area you will pretty much never misclick it and you will never have a irritating pop-up show up this is if you want to have it this way. So this is the coding that I've used. Feel free to amend it, share it. In next video, I'm going to be evolving this home with more automations and more control on this dashboard. Thank you for joining me. 
look forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay safe.